<laughs> people want to know. They always want to know what's the winter going to be like. And we don't know specifically, but we have some interesting developments. And, you know, we talk about El Nino, La Nina all the time. Well, we have a developing La Nina this fall into the winter. Looks like it's going to happen. Let's talk about the difference, first of all. It's all about the warmest Pacific Ocean surface waters. When you have an El Nino, they push to the east. When you have a La Nina, they push to the west. And that has a profound influence on the jet stream pattern. During an El Nino winter, that Arctic jet is farther north. We have a milder winter. We have also a drier winter because the storm track is farther north. Meanwhile, down to the south, that subtropical jet is stronger. And they have tornado outbreaks in a stormy, rainy winter. But during a La Nina, which is what we're thinking is going to happen this winter, that Arctic jet is farther south. And so that has a very profound impact on our storm track. So depending upon the position of the jet stream, it looks like we're going to have above average precipitation this winter. Will it be rain or snow? That remains to be seen. But it's looking right now like this pattern would at least trend us toward a stormier type of pattern for the winter. So we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep you updated through the course of the next few weeks.